Welcome to Lane to Success. Herzlich willkommen zu Lane to Success. Now we have a very, very special guest to, for an interview here. Karana, please, can you introduce yourself? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I'm Karana Gatim. I'm with Microsoft Teams Engineering, and I run our customer advocacy group. So I do all of these events and community management and all of the adoption certification and training for the product. Excellent. And you drove for some programs which brought... Definitely user adoption, change management to Microsoft. Yes. And you put some programs on table where some tech, very technical guys has been enabled to do a, uh, some user adoption stuff, right? Yes, it's true. It's true. I brought that. You know, I've been doing adoption, solution adoption for a really long time. I'm a business solution architect by trade and a portfolio okay. manager. And so building solutions is, a, is my passion, but getting people to actually use them really it drives me and gets me up in the morning. And so with Teams, it's even more important to do this sort of user adoption work because we're actually asking our end users to go through a big change. Yes. And we have to make sure that they're getting the value out of it. Um, Teams is wonderful for chat and modern meetings, but there's so much more. Absolutely. When you think about integrating business processes, doing and streamlining workflows, yes. you think of all the things that we can do with Teams, it's important to do that user adoption work so that they can see the value. So you cr basically you created a framework, right? I did. Well, I got to participate um, in rewriting the framework that existed with Microsoft. So okay. now we have the M365 adoption framework. Yeah. And I like to think what I brought to it was a little bit more of what I like to call truth from the trenches. <laughs> the real world, hands-on view of what it's yeah. like to do this out in the field. Because I've been a customer of Microsoft, worked as a partner, been a consultant. And, you know, it's important to have that, you know, reality yes. <laughs> check yes. to whatever framework you do. So we actually launched that last year at Ignite. And then I wrote a course on top of that uh, so yeah. that people can become a service adoption specialist. That is an actual job. Uh, it has actual things that you need to do to do it well. But it w there wasn't a, a course from Microsoft that really laid out what was involved. Yes. So this stands alongside of certifications like ProSci or other organizational development certs that you can get. Awesome. I took the course and oh. it is really a uh, mind opener. Oh, good. So I don't think I don't think it's very really some special about a unique technique or something like that. It's just to rethink your current way how to implement some stuff. Yes, and we do and use Microsoft great. Teams as an example because that's yes. very uh, hot right now, obviously. But the whole thing is designed to work for any kind of project, yes. right? I mean, yeah. you know, maybe you're rolling out SharePoint or OneDrive, or you're going to use the new Yammer communities or what have you. So I'm glad to hear that. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from it um, because I wanted it to be actionable like yes. real tactics you could use you know hopefully you've had a chance to do that yeah absolutely <laughs> absolutely good um, one of my colleagues claimed um, you really relied on the ADCA model yes so um, you just transferred it? Is, is it? is it true? I did. Or? Not really, no. I mean, the ADCAR model is a fantastic model. That's the ProSci methodology. Yeah. And I do think it's very important to understand that sort of a model um, for driving change fundamentally, right, with humans. But what we did was we were based off of the M365 framework that's really about our tools and services. So it's more specific to Microsoft. Okay. Um, and it really focuses on the kind of talent that you have, the kind of business scenarios, getting user feedback. Yes. You'd be amazed at the people that I talked to who are trying to roll out some, some technology and never talk to the people who are actually trying to going to be using it. So I feel like there's those pieces from that real-world experience that myself and others have gained from working in the field uh, that, that I think really sets ours apart. Great. Um, one more question about Ignite. Yes. You have... You have had some uh, speaker slots, some sessions. What was the feedback you've got from, from the audience? Oh, yes. Have you got many questions about this? Is <laughs> yes. this a brand new topic for the guys here? Or? Well, what's really interesting this year is I've always had, I'll call it, a core following of people who've been following my work and the work that we're doing in this space, in adoption in particular. But this year, um, my courses were standing room only. And I felt like this is adoption is really having its moment. Yeah. People are understanding, not just in Office 365 or in modern workplace, but also in Azure and other areas how important it is. So I had a lot of questions. And actually, one of the other things I wanted to point out was to get 
great adoption, you have to have good governance. So my course on governance was extremely popular. I got to teach that with David Johnson from Core Service Engineering, formerly known as Microsoft IT. And we came together with our content there. And I think that's really important. If you have good governance policies and automation that's happening behind the scenes, you can drive great adoption because people have this frictionless experience that's still managed. We do not advocate some free-for-all. Hey, everybody create a team. (laughs) That's not what we're talking about, right? We want a great experience. And so... Um, there's been a lot of great response and you know people can find all this information at our Microsoft Adoption website which we're actually going to be updating in December I'm really excited about that so people can you know they can find the course they can find the community they can find all the assets that we have and we want to accelerate them they shouldn't you shouldn't have to start from scratch if you're driving teams or something else we have things that can help you get this done and I think that that's probably for me most important to know that I'm helping other people so I totally agree (laughs) so thank you very much thank you for the short interview it was a pleasure to talk to you and get some insights about the idea behind that where it's coming from thank you thank you very much (laughs) herzlichen Dank auch euch fürs Zuschauen Thank you very much for the audience. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.